3D printing is the term applied to a form of manufacturing called additive manufacturing. Essentially, objects are built layer by layer, with each layer adding material on top of the previous layer. The process is much like printing on paper, except the material adds a third dimension. This process is different from other manufacturing processes, which are often subtractive. Over the years, 3D printing has become more and more common. This technology is now readily available. Many public libraries and schools offer 3D printing services at no charge. How does a 3D printer work? There are many 3D printing techniques. The diversity of materials does not make it possible to obtain one and the same technique. These techniques make it possible to obtain significantly different results. It is possible to identify three main categories of additive manufacturing techniques. FDM, Fused Deposition Modeling. The abbreviation FDM stands for Fused Deposition Modeling, or Molten Filament Deposition. Also called FFF this technology consists of setting up a coil of polymeric yarn in general, which as it unwinds is taken to a motor. A nozzle is present and heats the material. Depending on the polymers, the temperature varies from 120 to 220 degrees. The deposit of material on the plate constitutes the number one layer. The tray then descends and layer number two can be placed. It is this superimposition of layers that makes it possible to create the object in three dimensions. Often, the nozzle moves on the X and Y axis, and the bed on the Z axis. The diversity of materials used explains the success of printers using the FDM technique. On the one hand, they are cheap and easy to use. They do not take up much space and can make objects from almost any material. Note that most home printers are printers combining FDM technology. DMLS, Direct Metal Sintering. The abbreviation DMLS stands for Direct Metal Sintering, it is a laser sintering technique. The laser sinters a layer of material which is the first deposited on the board. The plate then goes down a notch, a rake comes to deposit a layer on the first layer already present. By fusing the second layer, the laser fuses the two layers together creating a three-dimensional object. The powder used is a metallic powder. This technique therefore makes it possible to print metal parts such as aluminum, stainless steel, steel, but also bronze, gold, etc. It is, in fact, a very similar technique. Polymer Powder Sintering This technique is only professionally oriented and can be applied to many fields. SLA Stereolithography The abbreviation SLA stands for Stereolithography, it is a 3D printing technique for creating parts from digital modeling. The principle is based on the development of a three-dimensional object by polymerization using a UV laser. A photosensitive polymer resin is polymerized layer by layer according to the movements of the ulrit violet laser, itself directed by the previously established modeling. The plate descends little by little allowing a roller to deposit a second layer of material. Once the part is fully polymerized, the plate goes up and the part is recovered. The laser draws the X and Y axis while the descending tray represents the Z axis. Several materials are possible with this 3D printing technique, but above all they must be photosensitive, this physical property allows a suitable reaction to ulrit violet laser rays. Stereolithography has good physical qualities but is technically quite unreliable, it is not used for advanced technologies such as the DMLS technique for example. Indeed there are other 3D printing techniques not mentioned in this video. We have mentioned only the most popular. What materials are used for 3D printing? By far the most common material for 3D printing is plastic. Used in filament or FDM printing, it melts easily, extrudes smoothly and hardens when cooled. Other materials are also used in 3D printing. 3D printed houses are made with concrete that hardens in the air after being pushed out of a moving gantry system. 
Metal objects have been made by 3D printers that use metal dust that is either heated to form a bond or mixed with a glue-like agent to hold the bond together. Altogether, there are even 3D printers that extrude chocolate and other food products to make 3D printed food. Expect a lot of innovation when it comes to 3D printing materials. This is a growing field, especially as 3D metal printing becomes more convenient, more affordable, and more commonplace. How much does a 3D printer cost? The price range of 3D printers is quite wide. You can buy one for hobbyist use for under $200, or you can buy a giant industrial machine for well over a million. In practice, for home, office, and conceptual prototyping work, you can buy some really good quality 3D printers for anywhere from $200 to a few thousand dollars. Price is often determined by the size of the machine, its sturdiness, and the features that come with it. Among the slightly more expensive models, some have Wi-Fi, a camera and various printing conveniences, such as automatic bed leveling. The Future of 3D Printing 3D printing has come a long way since the early days of desktop figurines. As technology continues to evolve, the future is brighter than ever. 3D printing is positioned for real and significant growth. Companies like Aerojet Rocketdyne are using additive manufacturing for rocket engine and defense systems applications. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe.